What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Transfer Rumor. Today we have episode 4 and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it uh, yesterday. I was travelling and stuff like that. So we have got a lot more players to go through today. The shout out Sunday video will be out later today guys. So don't worry it is definitely a double upload and that will be out later tonight. So make sure to look forward to it. So we've got 11 players to go through today. Let's get straight into the first one. We have Radamel Falcao, of course, has just been released by Chelsea. Um, and Napoli look as if they could maybe snap him up. He has been linked only if Gonzalo Higuain does leave Napoli, apparently. Um, so it kind of depends on whether or not Gonzalo Higuain leaves to where um, Falcao enters the club, I suppose. Uh, the rumour rate I'm going to give him is a 6. I think it's likely if Falcao leaves, but if not, it's not going to happen. Let's face that. Transfer rating of 7 as well. As I think he'd do okay at them, maybe a bit better, than, well definitely a bit better than they did at Chelsea and Monaco, but not too well. The price is also not known. We then go on to Steckenberg as the second player. He has just signed for Everton from film. Of course, he was not loan at Southampton last season, I do believe. Um, the price is currently undisclosed when I'm recording this video. It might be announced when you guys are watching it, but... It isn't at the moment, so I can't put it in. The rumour rating as well is a 10, of course, because it has happened. And the transfer rating of 6. I don't think it's a keeper they need. I think they need a more world-class keeper, a younger keeper, um, to fill the sticks for them the whole season. They may have to use Joel in goals this season. I'm not too sure what they're going to do, uh, if they're going to use Joel or Steckenberg in goals. But it'll be interesting to see how they do it without a really world-class keeper. We then go into a strange, strange one. Um... Wanting Koscielny to Bayern Munich, it's been linked, 35 million is the price tag, I put a rumour rating of 1, it's definitely not going to happen, um, they've already got Hummels and Boateng, they don't need them, Koscielny won't want to be the second centre back to both of them, he won't want to be the backup centre back, he wants first time football, he might even get paid less at Bayern Munich, so I don't know why he'd want to move in the first place, less game time and get paid less, um, it's just not going to happen guys, so... That's why I've gave it a 1, it would be a transfer rating of only 5 as well, I don't think it'd be a great transfer for Bayern Munich as... They don't need them. <laughs> that is the only reason that I put it like that. The next one is going to be Henrik Mkhitaryan, of course, um, of, well, used to be of Borussia Dortmund, now of um, Manchester United. He is signed for £26 million. I did him in a couple of episodes ago, but now it has confirmed the transfer, so I've added him back in. Rumour rating of 10, as it has just happened, a transfer rating of 9, as I believe is a very, very good transfer um, for for uh, Manchester United. I think he worked well with Rooney, um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic as well, very, very good on the wings, did really well for Dortmund last season, and it'll be interesting to see how well he does in the Premier League in a completely different playstyle, um, so I'm looking forward to watching him. We've then got Michael Keane of... Currently, Burnley, who's been linked heavily with Leicester City for £15 million, quite a hefty fee for a player that is um, not 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 too well known. He is just coming up to the Premier League now, he's not had any Premier League experience, I don't believe, so it'll be interesting to see if they do actually pull this off Leicester and sign him for £15 million. A rumour rating of 5, I think it, it could go either way, it can either, they could either sign him or they could either not sign him. A transfer rating also of 8, as I think... It would be a very, very good transfer. I think he'd do well in the Premier League and especially do well at a club like Leicester City. We then go into Matt Ritchie. This did happen a few days ago, guys, but because I wasn't recording or didn't um, upload an episode a few days ago, this one is going to be included in today's one. He did sign for Newcastle United from Bournemouth. Um, I couldn't actually fit Bournemouth in, so I've just wrote Bourne. But uh, the price is 10 to 12 million. The rumour rating, of course, 10 because it has been confirmed. And also a transfer rating of 8. I think he'll do well. Um, he's obviously moved for the money because he will get paid more in the Championship at Newcastle than he would do at Bournemouth in the Premier League. That's probably the only reason he's left. I don't know why else he'd leave uh, to go down a further uh, week. So he has obviously left the money. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. We then go into Axel Witzel, who has signed for Everton, or is about to sign for Everton, for £30 million. I've only put the rumour rating at 6, because I did this a few days ago, this bit of graphics. So I would probably put it at about 8 or 9 now, um, but I can't obviously change it. Now, transfer rating of 9 as well, as I think it'd be a very, very, very good signing if they actually pull him off. Did well in the Euros, did done very well in the Champions League with Zenit, and just in general with Zenit in the league and stuff over the last couple of years. It'd be a very, very good signing, in my opinion, for um, Everton, and it would just strengthen them and maybe even push them to a Europa League spot next season. So it'll be interesting to see how he does fit in in the Premier League and in Everton squad. We then go on to Mendy. This has been confirmed this morning. Leicester City have signed. Mendy from Nice. It isn't the left back, which is 
at the beginning what I thought is the CDM um, from Nice that they have signed 13 million pounds quite hefty for a player that nobody really knows that much about rumor rating of 10 as it has just been confirmed and I'm also going to have a transfer rating is 9 he does look like the new Kante he does look as if he has a similar style to Kante maybe that was Ranieri's thinking when he did go ahead and buy this player so it'll be interesting to see if they two can link up and maybe we'll have two Kantes in our Leicester squad they would just be unbeatable if they did in fact have that the next one is also one that's Definitely not going to happen. Um, Manchester City have apparently been heavily linked with Real Madrid. This came out in newspapers, uh, quite a lot of newspapers, but as you know, you can never trust the newspapers. There wasn't even a price thrown about that I could see when I was researching this, so it looks as if this is definitely not going to happen. Going to give it a Remer rating is 2. It's not as ridiculous, in my opinion, as Koscielny, um, but it's also, I, I just can't see it happening, guys. I cannot see them signing um, James Rodriguez for... It would probably be roughly about 70 million, wouldn't it? 60 to 70 million. I can't see that happening. I don't think he's good enough anyway. Um, but I've given him a transfer rating of 9 because he would, of course, strengthen any squad that he does join in the summer. If he does move, that is. Also, success. He has just moved from Granada to Watford. Uh, 12.5 million. Rumour rating, of course, of 10 because it has been confirmed. And a transfer rating of 8. I don't know much about him. Don't know how well he did last season. But to sign a guy that was 66 rated silver, uh, that was a 66 rated silver in uh, FIFA last season for 12.5 million, he must be pretty good. He must look quite good. I'll see how he. Uh, we'll have to see how he does kind of link up with Troy Deeney and Icaro if they are still at the club. I've also given it a transfer rating of a uh, transfer rating of eight, of course, because I don't know how well he's going to do. But I think he will do pretty well. We then go on to the final one of today's episode, guys. It's Paul Pogba. And haven't we all heard this? We've heard this for weeks, months even. Um, he is looking as if he could join back to Manchester United. Of course, Man United did let him go for free to Juventus a couple of years ago. Three, four years ago, I believe it was. And now he's worth £100 million. Pounds. I bet you they're regretting that. Uh, especially Sir Alex Ferguson, who I believe let him go. A room rating of four as well. Can't see this happening. It's not as ridiculous as Hamid Rodriguez and Koscielny. It could happen, but it's just very, very unlikely to happen. It's not impossible. But it is kind of impossible in a weird kind of way. A transfer rating of 10 as well though, because he would make any squad great. If you have enjoyed today's episode guys, make sure to smash the like button. 15 likes to be absolutely insane. The Shout Out Sunday will be out later tonight, make sure to look out for that at 5 or 6pm. Also subscribe guys if you're new to the channel. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.